Vladimir Putin has been sworn in as Russia's president for a new six-year term. The Russian leader renewed the oath of office in the Grand Kremlin Palace for the fifth time. We are a united and great people. Together we will overcome all obstacles, we will bring all our plans to fruition, and together we will win," the 71-year-old Russian leader told an audience of ministers and dignitaries. I assure you that I will continue to place the interests and security of the people of Russia above all else," he added, recounting the text of the presidential oath. In his speech, Putin paid homage to the Russian soldiers killed in the war in Ukraine, describing them our heroes and referring to the war as a special operation. We must do everything possible to ensure that people who have proved their loyalty to the fatherland through action take leading positions in state administration," he continued. The ceremony held in the Grand Kremlin Palace was attended by thousands of guests, including Russian government officials, members of parliament, celebrities, and business figures. Among the foreign guests was Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canel. Putin has ruled Russia for more than two decades and in March he secured yet another six years in power after winning a controversial election that was marred by a number of voting irregularities and lack of real opposition. The Russian leader is expected to name his new prime minister on Wednesday, the day after the inauguration. A driver died after a vehicle crashed into an outer perimeter gate of the White House complex, and the incident late Saturday was being investigated as a traffic crash, police said. The male driver, who was not immediately identified, was found dead in the vehicle following the crash shortly, according to a Secret Service statement, the crash appears to have occurred about 305 meters from the White House at the intersection of Pennsylvania Avenue in the southeast corner of the complex, near the Treasury, the Ellipse, and the South Lawn Diana statement posted on X. Secret Service spokesperson Anthony Guglielmi said there was no threat to the White House and no threat or public safety implications. Security protocols were implemented as officers cleared the vehicle and attempted to render aid to the driver who was discovered deceased, the Secret Service said. President Joe Biden was spending the weekend in Delaware, and the Secret Service said there was no threat to the White House. In January, authorities arrested a driver who crashed a car into an exterior gate of the White House. The man taken into custody after the crash was believed to have been experiencing mental health issues, according to news reports. And I think the rain's coming. Good night. I can't. I think no one's going to And I think the rain's coming. Good night. Good night.